Black state representatives do not pay into Social Security, nor do you collect from it. However, you have secured your own special health care plan for life. If this health care plan is made into law, will you pass a law requiring all elected representatives to live with and under the same restrictions and rules as the rest of the people in the United States? If not, then why would you even consider the plan for the rest of us? Thank you. Thank you for the question. And I'll give both uh, uh, Senator Thune's office and uh, uh, Representative Sandel's office an opportunity to respond. A absolutely. Uh, my boss, Senator Thune, feels what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So, there has been an amendment that's been introduced in the Senate along the same line that would basically require senators once, uh, if this public plan or if this health care reform passes with the public option in it, that uh, the senators would switch to that plan. I'm not sure if the House had the same thing. I think a similar amendment was introduced in the House and failed. Thank you, Kasai. Will you, Megan, would you care to respond? Um, well, firstly, I just also want to make the point that you make an excellent point. As a federal employee, I have great coverage. I have great options for coverage, the same coverage that members have. Um, and part of this effort is to extend to those people that don't currently have access to that coverage for myriad of reasons, whether it be uh, affordable access, whether it be um, denied coverage due to a pre-existing condition. Very many issues prevent people from having access to coverage. And so this is an effort to ensure that people have access to the same meaningful benefits that myself, Senator Johnson, Senator Thune have access to. Megan, I, I am going to take liberty with a follow-up question now and then, and my question to you is, uh, I'm not sure you answered the question, will Representative Sandlin support a bill that that uh, uh, gives her the same kind of health care that, or Senator Johnson, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, you know, it's impossible to make comments on a bill that doesn't exist yet in the Senate, but I do want to say that that is the effort that we're trying to, to get to, is that you will have access to the same benefits. Okay, we'll move on to the next question.